Mornings filled with meaningful business talk. Giving you useful advice on how to win at your career. I am Randy Bernardino. And I am Mayan Manzano. And this is Daily, Daily Insight. Insight. Today's topic is how to escape the cubicle world and build a business that you love. Uh, interesting. Oh, okay, no. We all want to know that. Yes, yes, to leave your corporate job for something that you actually like to do. Yes. <laughs> so today's guest, he is the author of The Cautious Entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And he is also the founder of Negocio University. As a corporate, uh, corporate employee for eight years, he got sick and tired of his job and started his own business. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. He now owns two multi-million wow. peso publishing and consulting companies. Yes. And today, over 150,000 aspiring lifestyle entrepreneurs regularly reads his online newsletter. Wow, a lot of and viewers. he has personally coached over 1,300 entrepreneurs in the Philippines and abroad. Ladies and gentlemen, our viewers, let's welcome Mr. Mr. John Orana of Negoshi University. Hi, John. John. How are you? Good morning. We're so good morning. excited to have you. Good morning. Yeah, yes. good morning to all uh, listeners. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow, it's my first time actually to do a... Uh, Facebook Live? A Facebook Live, really? a studio format. So, yes. hi. Yes. We're fun, very so. innovative here at EBC. So. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and we've been looking forward talaga to have you here. A friend of mine, Aimline Marcos, actually told me about you. Sabi ko, I said, Negosyo University. Okay, I'm gonna invite him over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. and a uh, good thing I'm actually available for this Yay. week. So yes. just in time. Yeah, Correct. again, good morning to everyone. And I can see that we have uh, viewers yes, from maramina. different yes. parts of the world. Huh? Yes, oh, oh. followers, maraming Yes, and we go to our topic. Yes, no? so for sure. We said how to escape the cubicle world and build a business yes. that you love. This is your forte. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. So um okay, we first go through the struggles of being an employee, no? Mm -hmm. Siguro kaya that's why you came up with this topic or you came up with this um discussion. That's right. I yeah. started kasi I I'm a full-time employee for more than 8 years. So I know the I know what's going on, especially here in Metro Manila, the yeah. challenges of many employees mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, all the traffic and all the limitations that that employment can can offer. Mm -hmm. So after a year of two, uh, well, a year or two years of working uh, in here in Ortigas, I realized all the limitations that uh, employment can offer me. Oh. Oh, so yes. it's not really enticing for me, mm -hmm. exciting as well. So that's how I started to start my own business but the challenge is like for many employees they don't know how mm -hmm. yeah. to start yeah. a business right? yeah we don't have the expertise yes. mm -hmm. oh, you think maybe that's a dream of starting your business yeah. but I, I don't have the if you don't have the background maybe you think you don't have the education Correct. so papano i mean after eight years papano or kelan ka totally like decide na, okay i want something else well, uh, from the very beginning, I knew that uh, quitting my full-time job is not a smart thing to do. Okay, so it's not I, a smart oh. thing to do. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't quit until, you know, something really, something's working already. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, of course, the challenge is, is you have a full-time job, so you have to do it before and after work, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yes. the great thing with our generation right now, which is something that uh, the past generation don't have, is the internet, right? Their ability to create yeah. business mm -hmm. and even market or sell your online, or not, not, not necessarily online business, but any business online. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's so cheap right now. Okay, yes. so digital business, you mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be a digital business or even traditional business. Just use maybe Facebook, for example, to promote or market your business. Right. So, John, after, okay, eight years ka ng, eight years ka ng empleyado. That's right. And after eight years, don't ka put up ng business, right? But you did not quit yet. Yeah, I yung tried different job. businesses, uh, mostly traditional. Ano oras pala yung day job mo nun? Typical, eight to five. Eight mm. to five. So I have <laughs> one. Uh, there was one time I launched a restaurant. So I have to wake up as early, mm. five in the morning, restaurant. go to the market, oh. buy yung mga goods for my Ikaw restaurant. Mismo. Ako mismo. Ah, okay. There was like, ka naman nun. In the beginning, wala. I, I, someone who watches the store, pero like we buy stuff. Talagang naglilinis ako ng, 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 oh. ng isda and nagkikilo ng That karne. Is before, bago that was before. Pumasok. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so Pero, and then ikaw din ang tagaluto? 
na iba na. Because ah, okay. I have a full-time job. <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay. And then after work, after work, go back to the restaurant, see how things, you know, is going. So, mm -hmm. yung mga ganong pagay that you have to find a way mm -hmm. to, to really, to make it work. Mm -hmm. You really have to find a way to make it work. So, I have, before I have a retail business, all of them failed. All of them failed. So, by the way, yung naman. restaurant muna. After I tried this, I tried a retail, then I put up a, a pharmacy store. Put a restaurant in the very beginning. Yeah, but I have a full time job back then. So, oh, but, oh. but I knew this. Is, it's not. It's not a smart thing to 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 quit my job. So until finally, they kind of cracked the code and use technology to to start and grow in my business. So uh, oh. that's what I started. Uh, that's why I wrote my book, The Cautious Entrepreneur, okay. to share my journey, to share my stories, and oh. give them inspiration and give them hope that you can actually do this. It's just you have to be wise on your time and you have to pick because uh, there are a lot of things to do. Yes. Uh -oh. You got to be wise on what is more important because not yeah. everything on your to do's are urgent and important. Oh, oh. Right? Mm -hmm. Tapos take yes. note, Randy, four times can nag fail. That's right. Diba? Four times can nag business. And I like lost uh, millions, actually. Iba -iba and you lost millions, but you, you were not discouraged. I'm not discouraged. Yeah. Well, that's good for you. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, diba four times siya nag put up ng iba ibang business, nag fail yun. It's a normal thing. I mean, you really go it through It really that. is trial and error oh, sometimes. Oh, oh, that's oh. right. Okay, but you don't then, have the magical formula. Correct. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. But then eventually, you're able to figure it out. So how did how did you come to that? What was what helped you to reach that success that you're so longing for? Well, what happened? Ang sabi ko lang sa sarili ko is I'll only quit my job if my business can actually pay me like whatever pay the bills, making, cover the bills, yeah, cover yeah, the bills yes. and whatever mm -hmm. making as an employee as a salary, yes. right? But uh, I've leveraged the power of technology, the internet. So uh, right. until I reach, uh, I doubled my income back then, and I have still have a full time job. Mm -hmm. So that's the only time I finally, this is the moment that I've been waiting for for many <laughs> years. So I handled my uh, resignation and say goodbye to the corporate world and never look back. What was that <laughs> business that you it's became an, successful in? I sell uh, uh, information products like digital products like ebooks mm -hmm. and audiobooks and Ooh, video courses, okay. which is for many Filipinos could easily create this because we have a lot of freelancers in the Philippines. Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, we are probably, you know, hub of uh, freelancers. There are a lot of, uh, you know, Western people who hire Filipinos to create products for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes. why, 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 why don't you just start your business, create your product and sell it and you make 100% of the profits? So digital mm -hmm. um, products though. What digital was the, the content of the, some of these products that you're offering? It really depends on the topic, but mostly these are how-to products because mm -hmm. that okay. what uh, sells the most is mm -hmm. people are looking for uh, direct straightforward answer to whatever mm -hmm. let's say how how you want to uh, how to lose weight or how to teach your parrot to speak oh, no, no, no. or how oh, to okay. you know ADHD for kids um, mm. uh, how to do stock investing in the Philippines oh. um, parenting strategies is this all toddlers. original content original yeah. content wow. right oh. so, so uh, well when yeah. you say original there's there's really nothing new under the yes. sun, so to speak. It's all about the repackaging. Repackaging and oh. make it your uh, your your own thing. Correct. Mm -hmm. But that is, of course, um, it worked for you because mm -hmm. that is something maybe you like or that is something you think na mag napapatok. But how about so mga employee, like generally, how are they gonna escape the cubicle world and build mm -hmm. a business that, that they love? And what are the process or the basics? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, the challenges for employees is they don't have much time obviously yes. and they don't have capital that's a right? so, walang oras walang capital <laughs> exactly so if you will compare this business to say a traditional business mm -hmm. let's say you put up a restaurant maybe minimum you have to spend about a 250,000 pesos for a traditional okay. business but yes. for this one you don't even have to spend 50,000 to get started Oh, so you, th okay. you see, even if you fail in this business and in this selling information products online, it won't cost you a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. Like when I started for traditional business, I lost millions yeah. because of the mistakes and all those kind of stuff, right? But for this one, you don't have to. And you can do this at the comfort of your own home. You can do this before or after work. Mm -hmm. So this is like the perfect place for anyone who would like to start a business. The one that you're mentioning is these digital, the digital products. Yeah. Yes. So for example, let's say your hobby is like you love playing guitar. 
Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. So you yeah, but let's say I love playing guitar, mm-hmm. but I I'm not a teacher. I have no expertise in guitar. Yeah, but so stop playing that long of them play. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, number one is most fil- uh, most customers are actually new into something. So ev- even if you're not an expert, but yes. you have the competence. The competence meaning it's the basic skills. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is more than enough actually to get started in this business because you don't have to become an Eric Clapton to start teaching <laughs> guitar. Uh-huh. Yes, you know, uh-huh. because there are there are new ones they don't even know how to hold a guitar. Mm-hmm. So okay. those are your target market. Okay. So let's say communication is the same thing, right? You want to help someone to be, maybe maybe speak better yes. in English. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Again, you don't yes. have to be the best, but okay. there are people that are really struggling. And well, we see, know it's important in communication. Mm. In, so in, yeah, let's in focus career. on that one example. Oh. For example, you're you're good in communication. You mm-hmm. you have a good command in English. That's right. So how do you sell that? If we are encouraging the, the our viewers now to to go that digital business on how that's how if if how, that's how they they're, they're gonna skip the cubicle world. So yeah, let's focus on that now. Okay. So let's Uh-oh. say that's your uh, idea okay. and your that's your skill set. You know what? Magaling I think I can share this. Magaling ako. So the first step is you have to pick a market or. A what I call the congregation, right? When you say congregation, normally it's a, it's a gathering of people, a mm-hmm. church, right? Mm-hmm. So online, we have those places. You just go to Facebook groups and you will see a lot of yes. Facebook. Oh. Okay. OFWs, martyrs, uh, drivers, uh, photography and s- enthusiasts, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's just say we pick a market and we saw a group of, of call center, of BPO. Yeah, yes. call center agents. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yes. they are struggling to, you know, maybe improve, improve their, their career, improve okay. their English communication. Yeah. Okay. You can go there and see all their struggles and then be part of the community and start to share your insights on how to improve your communication. Maybe every 15 minutes you do this exercise or whatever. I don't know. I'm not What was the market. first part? You don't have to. Either you write an article. Okay. You can blog, or you can shoot a video. This is how you pronounce words, or this is how you, you know, or how to to hide your accent, like for many Filipinos, right? Yes. We yeah. have this to, thick uh-uh. accent, right? Mm-hmm. So those kind of stuff. Okay, so isip ka ng topic regarding English, of course. Yeah, but the first is you have to go to the market and read their discussion. What are their struggles? What are what their frustrations? Need? What do they need? Mm-hmm. And then create a simple, helpful, maybe, you know, Material. materials for that. Either if you're more comfortable with video, create a video. Mm-hmm. Or for me, I started podcast because I'm not really a writer. Uh-huh. And it's okay. so much easy to uh, audio than video because video you have to put on your makeup and be conscious on <laughs> yeah. what you yeah, look like, that's right? That's my next question. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, oh. The podcast anyway, okay. or writing. So go out there. And then people will start to follow you because why? You're not selling anything. What are you doing? You're just helping them out. You're informing. Mm-hmm. You're informing, right? So um, education, it's called education-based marketing. You mm-hmm. educate oh, them. Okay. You're not selling, yes. you're educating them. So what will be the next step? The people will ask you, wow, man, I would like to know more. How can you help me? There's oh. where the product comes mm-hmm. in, where the, there's where your, pro- your coaching program comes in. Now you start. Would, would it be much easier to market or sell your product if people comes to you and ask for help? Yes. yes. Yung that hindi is. ka hard sell. Exactly. Oh. So Sila that's like malapit. selling without selling. Interesting. Ah, sell without selling. Yeah. Yeah. Selling without <laughs> selling. <laughs> ang ganda kasi ang first pro- process niya, nag-inform mo na siya, nag-provide siya ng materials to, to help the, the, the group na that's tinitin right. niya. And then sila na yung kusang lumapit. Okay, That's so right. pag may nag inquire na dyan, like, okay, paano pa magkaroon ng ibang materials? Do you have this and that? That's where you start? That's how you start. Okay. Right? So another another thing is you don't want to overwhelm because the, the, the automatic response, I guess, is like, you know what? I'm going to teach him everything that I want, uh, everything that I know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Right? But unfortunately, that will overwhelm them. Yeah, too yes. much so information. Too much information, so you have to make the piece by piece either create a couple of books or maybe multiple programs. It depends on what level they are in, right? Mm-hmm. So obviously, if, say, you Parang know, by module, by module, depends on expert, mm-hmm. how good they means. are, mm-hmm. right? So, yeah, so that's how, how it all started. And then how do you eventually, paano na magsa-start yung pagbebenta? Paano ka nakikita doon from the materials that you make? So let's just say you have a product ready. Yes. Right? You wanna, na. Yeah, and you, uh-huh. you want to sell it, right? Yes. So you have like a simple page basically uh, highlighting um, 
the pain points and their frustrations. It's like, uh, do you make something like a headline for, say, for your website, like, do you make th these mistakes in English? Okay. Right? Then people okay. start to read this, all the frustrations and the pains, and then oh. suddenly you have the portion there, I have a program that can help you fix this, this and that, and this is how, my, how much I charge. So uh, oh. you can either accept mm. credit card or, say, in the Philippine market, bank deposits. Oh, oh okay. okay. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, you have questions. So, <laughs> so, um, so from there, that's how you found your success, was finding these, uh, these markets who are l looking for expertise. That's right. Mm -hmm. One of the things that they, uh, you know, normally uh, they ask is, John, don't we have, like, everything we have now is available online. Uh -oh. Why would they buy? Right, it's, well, everything is in it was Google. Just about just the packaging, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Because not a lot of people have a lot of time to search on Google. Mm -hmm. First, when you search on Google, you don't automatically get it on. Right, you have to jump oh, in yeah. from yeah. website to, to another. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, correct. You knew that I know. Kanina, parang baka naman. Oh, pwede ko naman i-Google yan eh. Like basic grammar thing. Parang Tama. how do you compete with Google? How do you compete with this information um, everywhere? That's right. So basically what you offer is a time and convenience. So instead yeah. of them jumping from one website to another, you basically Correct. package, hey, everything that you need is in here. Uh, oh. And you're going to them. You're going yes. to them. Yes. And they'll find you too because like, like for, 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 for this moment that I'm here, here in... Uh, in uh, EBC mm -hmm. because I share my information online. Mm -hmm. Now you guys contact me to be here. Correct. Yes. That's what oh. happened. So this is a demonstration that what I do is actually oh. working. Yes. Okay. Sige, John. Let's go to the the specifics. So mm -hmm. meron na, na may, may letter ka don. Tapos for for more information, you go to this program. You avail you buy this, this program. program. That's right. Okay. So pa papano na yung mismo program? Pag bumili na ako or nag-inquire na ako. So let's say you decided what ebook, audiobook, or coaching. Oh. oh. It depends. So we have those options. Oh. There's ebook. Ebook, which is obviously they can immediately download it on their phone or mobile device they can read All it right. mm -hmm. okay. this audio is pretty much the same thing you have to download it but this one it has more convenience because they you can play it even while you drive or shop yes. wait in line mm -hmm. and right then and then there's another level which is a uh, say a coaching this, this time yan. yeah it could be one-on-one -on -one. -on -one. it could be in a group setting oh. and uh, since online you can do it via webinar yes, yes. or like a Facebook live like this one do a oh. private Facebook mm -hmm. live so um, and then so when you want people want to know more where do they go what what site do they go to to look about more of your expertise in those areas yeah, well, yeah they can you? visit my website at uh, www.negociouniversity.com or they may get my book uh, The Cautious yeah. Entrepreneur mm -hmm. at the negociobook.com uh -oh. This is your copy. Yeah. Yeah. Each one has their okay. own copy. So everything about what do we call that business? Ano ba yan? Nakalimutan natin itanong. Ah, uh, it's called the information publishing uh, business. Information, information publishing, publishing business. business. Yeah. So kapag expert ka into something, you you don't you have don't have to be an, an expert, expert. But yeah. say let's just say you have the competence or yes. interest. Oh. No? Yes. Let's just say he has a basic competence in English. It's not the best one, but of obviously it's kind of his native oh, oh. language. So you have sort of a competence on that so she can do it yeah. you can do that so same with you guys so. yes right. so now with this book mm. it's called the the cautious the entrepreneur. Cautious, entrepreneur. Bucket, uh, cautious what are some of the things that you're yes. teaching here one of the things that I uh, thought there is um, understanding the uh, you know we always hear that you have to think outside the box right you always uh, hear that yes but for this one I uh, what I teach is think inside the box first think what do you mean by that you got to know yourself first Mm -hmm. what's the best business for you because the, the, the reason the people get scam or maybe didn't succeed in business because in many cases they were influenced by their surroundings instead mm -hmm. of asking themselves first so yeah. you, you will get easily you know be invited to start this business oh, oh. only to realize that you don't have strength for this one oh, oh. Yes. so but why would start so you want to be in a position where you can utilize your strength but when we say strength these are combination of your knowledge experience his skills and interests mm -hmm. right it doesn't have to be very good at those but at least you have basic 
uh, skills for that. Okay, mm -hmm. so yun yung cautious entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. You don't jump, just jump into something na, Tama. oh, sikat, nasa craze to, o oh, magbenta tayo oh, ng ganito. Oh, you exactly. have to know yourself, dapat yung gusto mo. Yes. So yun yung sinasabi mo, na yung skills mo, interest mo, dun ka mag-start. Exactly. Okay, so now I've already decided, this is who I am, this is my limitations. That's What's right. the next step? Where do I go from there? Then pick what business that you can actually utilize this. For mm -hmm. example, you have Let's go back to the niche market, Kanina, your yes. communication. Yes. Let's just say you're English teacher or I don't know, whatever, right? Yeah. So you realize that that's your strength. Mm -hmm. So how can I utilize this strength this of mine? This strength. Okay. Wala pang puhunan yun. Wala pa. Mm. Right? So wala pang puhunan. So there you go. So let's just say naman, let's go to traditional, not just an yeah. online business. Most Filipino, they would like to start a say a restaurant business. Oh, okay. yes. Sasabihin nila, oh, yes. oh, <laughs> magaling ako magluto, you know, oh, how yes. do I do this, right? So that must be maybe your strength, mm -hmm. but you have to realize that a business, for example, a restaurant, yung pagluluto is just one part of the whole operation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you, if yes, you can say magaling kang cook, but you have to know how to market and sell it, mm -hmm. oh, oh, right? Yes. So either you learn it or find a partner who can help you on the marketing and selling part. Yeah. So you can oh, okay. focus on the cooking. So still, oh. your strength is there. Mm -mm. And then yung weaknesses mo, then get someone else's strength. Yes. You, maybe we could partner. So then you need yeah. to build your team. That's yes. how to yes. start. All of right? the areas of your business, especially if you are not an expert in, in something, mm -hmm. something, you gotta get that, someone who is an expert. Uh -oh. mm. Don't open a restaurant and you don't know how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> That's one even, thing. Yeah. Even, That's you're for not sure. even interested. Okay, you're not even interested. Oh, no, no. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say now I've developed my uh, team. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do I do next? I've, I've come up with all of the people that I need. Where do I go next? Now, uh, for a startup, yeah. In the beginning, you really don't know what you are doing. Mm -hmm. You only have an idea. You probably yes. have a product. You probably have a services. You don't know what you're doing in a sense that you don't even know yet if your product will sell or not. Mm -hmm. So the first step is to test it and see if it will sell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's say we do the restaurant. Let's say we do uh, taste testing. Yes. Or soft opening. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's one restaurant in the Philippines. It's really big right now. They started packaging and selling these these this 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 meal yeah. of theirs to offices so basically they're oh, not okay. offices yeah. and sell it okay. and then from there they ask for feedback they have this small coupon it's like a survey right. mm -hmm. what do you like what you don't like yeah what mm -hmm. do you hope what do you maybe, suggest maybe, what do you suggest okay. so that's how they started mm -hmm. before they even invested because in a traditional kasi restaurant it will cost you a lot oh. just to build a restaurant that's a lot of money Oh, oh. Tignan mo muna kung paano nila gusto yung, ano, no, yung mm -hmm. food that you offer. Okay, that's, that's right. another step. Mm -hmm. okay. So once you figure that out, then maybe you maybe ma discover mo rin kung how much they'll be willing to pay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because that's yeah. yes. thing, uh -oh. right? Yeah. Like, masarap na, Pricing. but if it's like, it's too expensive, then Aladdin. maybe not work, oh. right? So you start with that. You start with ability to market and sell your product. Once mm -hmm. you figure that out, okay? Once you figure that out, then you go to the next stage of your business, which is your initial growth. Now, you're the, the initial growth is initial really growth. moving your, growing, ito na yung papasok na yung sales and profits, right? Yes. Parang na-discover mo na kasi, let's just say, hmm, let's say you sell t-shirt, mm -hmm. and then uh, you figure out na, oh, makabenta pala ako sa Facebook. Mm -hmm. right? Pwede, pala Pwede pala sa Facebook now. Okay, so your next step then is to, spend on marketing and advertising more on Facebook because mm -hmm. it's discover mm -hmm. okay. right so that's the for me that's the only time that you could actually finally quit your job because ah, okay. you a consistent stream of new customers to your business at which is income, well, income now you can pay yourself now and even your, your staff bills. <laughs> your bills so it's much should I say stable right yes, it's much yes. stable yeah. than oh. say quit ka agad and you don't even know if people will buy your product okay. or services. Wow. So the best advice when starting up this new business, don't leave your office job yet. That's right. Yes. How do you know when is the right time to leave your office job? Well, you have to have your own criteria. So mm -hmm. for example, if you're a single man, maybe just like you, you can take a little bit more risk than say, sake and a family man, yeah. I have three kids, I have to bring oh, them to okay. school, right? So oh, it really oh, depends on... Sa income na, yun. Oh, totoo yun eh. That's oh, really a factor correct. if you start Very young yes. young and single. Yes. Talagang merong advantage yun sa... Say, Maraming risk na pwedeng ite. Yes. yes, so depende ngayon, depende na sa'yo yun. So you have to define oh. that, you know what, uh, ako kasi sabi ko, the minimum 
is make at least whatever making right now is the salary ko at least mabayaran man lang ako ng company ko. So that's my mm, okay. that's my criteria back then. Yung same amount ng salary. Same mm-hmm. amount. But that's I quit criteria. actually I've already doubled it kasi <laughs> before I even okay. quit my job eh. So, so uh, yeah. to, today we learned um, two things, diba? I mean two two um segments. Yung una, yung information publishing business mm-hmm. na walang capital mm-hmm. na kahit wala kang limited yung oras mo pwede mong gawin that's right. yes. so that's selling information selling your interest selling um, you, you make the people learn muna and then para walang hard sell mm-hmm. that's a digital business mm-hmm. I mean yeah tapos yung second you gave advice kanina so, generally uh, speaking traditional businesses uh, traditional that's business right. that they have to know themselves first mm-hmm. yes. ano yung gusto nila yung strengths nila yes tapos wag mo nang pabigla bigla for example yeah. restaurant wag mo nang rent agad ng space mm-hmm. survey muna tapos mag mag yung you know start with with a group of people bigyan mo sila then survey ay padala mo sila food survey that's right and all that. Para Test the market. Tama, yes. before market. you even... And once you've established your business, yes. then that's how you live and escape the cubicle. Yeah. That's right. The world, the <laughs> and you have five. a business that you love. Remember, because oh, it's a strength-based business, it, base, it is based on your strength. Oh, if you do something based on your strength, it is so much easier. Mm-hmm. It's so much easier. That's a quotable quote. It's a tweet natin yan. May yes. Yeah. Or hashtag. Based on your interest. Mm-hmm. Do something that you like. That's yes. right. Exactly. That everything that you've taught us today, can people learn that out on Negotial University? Yeah. yeah. The more uh, specifics, how they, will they reach you? Yeah, we have different programs there, but they can, initially, they can just sign up. Uh, and then we will send them email newsletter, more nice. advice and tips, and that's for, for free. free. That's for free. Oh, yeah. wow. So yeah. they may get my insight. Uh, also, I do some podcasting and also some video as well, and nice. all for free. I follow the University. Yeah. Yes, great. me too. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and then from there, if the if they feel like you know it's time to jump in and maybe in, invest in my program, obviously it's always available in our website. Can mm. they also message you, like personal message? Yeah, for well, sure. Though I, though I have to admit, I can't reply to everyone because oh, I receive just right, just this morning I have like 170 emails so if I'm gonna reply to each one then hindi ko na mapapatakbo yung negosyo kaya I'm just replying email of each one of them right so kailangan nating magkaroon ng part 2 for sure invite you over again for sure well we hope all of our viewers uh, enjoy today's program and uh, you've learned a lot yes. but oh let's say hi to some yeah, of our comments yeah before we say goodbye sure. yes okay um, we stopped kanina, Ms. Josefina Sanchez. Now we have Morogan Hebra Jonah from Singapore. Babi Hindang, local ng Naglawag Bev Isia. Elmer Serrano, Kalambo Laguna. And also from UK, Batangas. Athens, Greece, Rosalie Nobetsio. Remy Galang, thank you so much. Virginia Reyes, Vancouver, Canada. Hello, dear viewers. Jan Andami Smith, pa. I can pronounce that. Name. Jan Smith. <laughs> yeah, and Joan is watching Same also. Name. Kuya Allen, Joey Stephen. Sapanta. Hi. Oh, you had those. Jill Bino. Oh, Jill Bino, may nagsabi. Hi, Riyad. Coach John. From yeah, it Riyad. looks like he's one of oh, my uh, wow. students. More some Hi, of your Jill. students. Hi. Mark uh, Reyes. Hi, Coach John. Thanks, yeah, Coach. You're my uh, followers, oh, Mark maybe. Yes. Hi, guys. And if any of you have any other questions, you can still yes. comment in the video and then we can answer your questions right. or comments. Right. Yes. Okay. So we all hope that you've enjoyed this episode. These are mornings filled with meaningful business talk. Giving you useful advice on how to win at your career. I am Randy. Bernardino. And I am May and Manzano, and this is Daily, Daily Insight. Insight. Thank you, John. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Thank you so much.